In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure NinjaTrader's email and text share services, which allow you to receive notifications via email or text when alert conditions are met. To set up an email share service, from the Control Center, I'll first click Tools, then Options to access the Options menu. Then, with General selected on the left-hand side, I'll click the field to the right of Share Services. I'll select Email from the top left-hand section, and then click Add down below. Next, in the Properties section on the right, I'll enter the information needed to set up the email share service. NinjaTrader needs a valid SMTP email server to send outbound emails. For common email providers such as Gmail and Yahoo, use the pre-configured settings drop-down menu to quickly enter the necessary information. Since I have a Gmail address, I will select Gmail. I'll next enter my email address. Under From Name, I'll enter NinjaTrader and you can enter any name here that you wish the email to be from. Under username, I will again paste my email address, but this time I'm going to remove the suffix at gmail.com, so you just want the first part of the email address, and then I'll go ahead and enter my email password. Please note, for Gmail accounts, the setting Allow Less Secure Apps will need to be enabled. Once everything is entered, I'll send a test email to make sure I have configured the email share service properly. I'll click the Send Email Test button once, then enter the email address I want the, the message sent to, and then click OK. A dialog box will appear notifying me that the email was sent, and I'll click OK on this as well. To set up a text share service, from the Share Services menu, I'll select Text Message via Email, then click Add down below. Next, in the property section on the right, I'll enter the information needed to set up the text message share service. NinjaTrader needs valid SMS and MMS addresses in order to send text messages to a mobile phone. First, I'll use the pre-configured settings drop-down menu to select a common carrier, which autofills the SMS and MMS address fields below. Do not enter your phone number in these fields. Using the email drop-down menu, I'll select the service I just configured. Next, I'll enter my mobile number. Once all fields are completed, I'll click OK. Next, I'll click OK to exit the main options menu. Now I can utilize NinjaTrader's share services to send alerts via email or text messages, keeping me informed when alerts are triggered in the platform. I have already configured a basic alert condition to test on this chart, such that when the price is greater than zero, I'll get an alert. To receive these notifications via the share services I just configured, I'll first right-click and select Alerts. Below the Actions section of the Alerts window, I'll click Add. I'll select Share a Message from the top section, and then I'll click in the Share To field below. Here I can see the two share services I just configured. I'll add both since I want to receive these notifications via both email and text. Now when my alert conditions are met, I'll be notified via both email and text. Let us know what you thought of this video and be sure to subscribe for more NinjaTrader tips. Happy trading!